Hello, welcome to TechShirmat. In this session, we will discuss about open query file in CL program. Okay, so before we discuss the program, let me tell you the exact reason where we use uh, this open query file. So basically, when we are, we are looking uh, for like, suppose you want to fetch the data from a particular file on the basis of few conditions. Okay, in that case, we will use this open query file. So as its name indicating that here we can utilize a particular query to fetch the data from the PF then in that scenario we use this open query file okay so let me show you the file data and then we will process the data according to the query so I'm doing run query here on this file test PF1 so you can see we have some random data stored in this PF so now suppose the requirement is like that we want to fetch all the records user ID and username where the username is as user 20 okay so you can see that this is mentioned here as well as here also so we have two records for uh, username user 20 so this is the requirement now this thing we can implement with the help of open query file so let's see how so we'll take the program in edit mode so what we are doing firstly we are declaring the file with dclf so just write dclf then press f4 here you can pass your file name which is test pf1 below to that we are declaring one variable and also we are initializing the value at the same time so just write dcl then press f4 here you can put the variable name so this is the variable that we consider as a query so i just pass it as a ampersand q or y the type of this variable is character and the storage will would be that by default which is auto and then we are specifying the length of the query field which is 50 so at the same time at the time of declaration we are initializing the value also so to initialize the query what we need to do we need to start the query with single quote and terminate the query with single quote so these this outer single quote is for starting the query and for ending the query this quote and this quote now inside that we are passing the file field name which is username and we are checking if equals to this value so this is also a string value so inside a single quote we will use these double single quote to pass the string value so this is the double single quote for starting this value then again this is the double single quote to closing this value okay so these two single quote is for the value that we are passing inside the query and the the outer single quote is for for uh, means for initializing the value to that variable okay so after that once variable is declared like you can do this thing in separate also you can use csg where command to assign the value again but it is not uh, useful because we can at this time of declaration also we can keep this value but if there is any requirement where we are changing the uh, query inside the program then you can change it using csg where command but for now we can directly assign the value here inside initial value then hit enter so now we have created the query after that we, we are declaring one variable which is this uh, just write dcl and press f4 uh, the variable name is loop which is of type logical so this variable we are going to use for iterate the loop in a infinite condition and it will break the loop only for a particular condition so we have initialized the value as one now below to that we are using over dbf command so you have seen like it is always mandatory kind of thing that before using the open query file you can utilize this over dbf command for turning on the sharing so just write over dbf press f4 here you can pass your file name do page down and here yeah, there is one option share open data path so just make it a star yes so why we are doing this this thing we are doing is suppose if the same file is accessed by some other program then in that case if we try to open the query if we try to do open query file then it will break why because there is a conflict between two program two program are trying to access the same file at a time so just to avoid this situation what we do we make this file as star yes for sharing so so that a multiple program can share this file at a time so this is the only purpose of using this share yes so whenever you are uh, doing the open query it is rec always recommended to use this star yes otherwise there could be some conflict with the program file okay 
so after sharing uh, turning on the sharing you can use this open query file now so just write openqrfy openqryf okay here you can pass your file name which is test pf1 and then do page down now here in query selection expression field you can pass the variable where we have designed the query so we just uh, declared that so just put m percent qry and then hit enter okay so once this line got executed it will set the in it will uh, fetch the data on particular condition that we have mentioned in this variable so now it's time to fetch all data so for that we are running one infinite loop which is do while condition loop okay so this is the loop variable which is always uh, one until or unless we break the loop and then we are doing rcbf for reading the file and after that we are checking for one condition which is cpf0 cpf0864 this is for end of file so if end of file occur then it will simply leave the loop okay so only in that case it will leave the loop otherwise it will re read the file again and again then we then we are using send program message command to print the value okay so just write sndpg msg press f4 here you can pass your variable name so if your variable name is of type numeric then you need to convert it to character because it only accepts the character otherwise you can pass your value directly so second value is already of type character so we are just passing it as directly after that we are just turning on the loop Turn, uh, we are doing the undo on the loop and then we are running one query one command which is dlt ovr so this is for deleting the override so just write dlt ovr and put your file name at the same time we will also close the file so just write clof and pass your file name so that if we have like we have opened the file so after uh, in the end of program we will close it again so that there could not be any chance of conflict now compile it and see the output so it returns 20 where username is user 20 and another 20 where username is user 20 so it fetches out the two record which uh, which contains username as user 20 so this is a way through which we can utilize open query file for accessing the file data on a particular condition okay so it is quite simple you just need to prepare one query after that you can turn on your sharing for your file so that there there's no chance for any conflict between the file if any other program is also accessing this file then it will not go it will not create any kind of issue okay then you can simply execute the the file with the help of open query file and just put your query selection here the variable that you design and then you can run one loop for retrieving the data and after the data processing is done you can directly delete the override and close the file again okay so this is how we can utilize open query file i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech